There is a time at the making of this video, it was sometime about a week ago, when the website, otherwise known as YouTube, was a pile of shit, but an operational and functional pile of shit, where at least people could communicate with each other, people could interact with each other as much as they want using all the language they could possibly, you know, imagine where people could discover other people's videos by searching them up or by seeing a related video to something they've watched. But that time was a week ago. Uh, looking at YouTube today, we are looking at the same pile of shit, except now it's broken. And broken because a thing called integration happened. And integration is the word that was used to disguise something otherwise known as a hostile takeover. A hostile takeover is what's really happened to YouTube in the past couple of days because butthurt Google Plus decided that they're not going to wait for people to use their crappy service. They're going to force people into using their crappy service. And so they took YouTube, a generally a functional website, and made it into a not functional website because most people are now forced to just completely turn off comments on all their videos. Why is this exactly? Well, as you can see, this integration forces people to use Google+, and you are not allowed to use YouTube unless you are signed in to both YouTube and Google+. And so that kind of fucks with the comments section because now a whole Google+, conversation thread thing is created. However, there's been a few things that have been completely lifted off the filtering that YouTube had on its comments before. Um... Links are the biggest problem that exist, also unlimited characters, and all kinds of things that you wouldn't really like, like even hiding links under links and under expand the comment links. <laughs> and um, that's a big problem, because now the dysfunctional, well, now the functional pile of shit that was filled with racism and hatred now becomes a dysfunctional pile of shit with malicious software and viruses and uh, genitalia and other weird things that are not even remotely close to as, well, functional as it used to be. I mean, right now, everyone is turning off comments on their videos because it's just unbearable what's happened to the comments section. Uh, a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, technically speaking a lot, but they're a very small, tiny percentage are appreciative of what Google Plus has done, and that is because they are the few percentage of people that finds Google Plus to be a good service. However, most people would agree that Google Plus is a pile of shit, and so a hostile takeover from a pile of shit will equal a pile of shit. Now, this leads to many problems, the first of which being the fear that Google Plus will integrate more things into YouTube. This is terrifying beyond belief because people that make money off of YouTube will have to make money off a website that doesn't work. Because as you can see, Google Plus is a service that sort of combines social networks and that doesn't work because YouTube was a whole big cuddly community that could discover each other through related videos and stuff. What a social network is, is a website that takes your circle of friends and makes them the only ones who actually know information about you. And it's basically impossible to find other people unless you are in that circle of friends. And so now, instead of having a million subscribers, people would have to have a million friends to have their videos even watched. That is very problematic, especially for people like me, because I expect that maybe one person a year will accidentally click on one of my videos and actually appreciate the content that I make and click that subscribe button because they enjoy it. In a social network scenario, like on Facebook, Twitter, or anything you people use, that becomes impossible. Because unless you have the link for the image slash video that I have, you're not going to find it. That is very problematic in many ways. Because that makes YouTube a dysfunctional pile of shit that is more dysfunctional than what it is now. <laughs> I mean, here's my, here's my understanding of why Google Plus is bad. Because 
I don't mind having different services for different social media. Facebook for people complaining about life, Twitter for people tweeting about life, Instagram for people posting pictures about themselves hating life. I don't mind that. And Unity is a very overlooked thing. It's almost as if everyone thinks that Unity is a good thing. But I don't want that. I want everything that I have separate to be separate because then it's easier to access. It's easier to kind of store and file and organize. When we have every pile of shit that we have combined into one big pile of shit, it becomes an unusable, just destructive pile of shit that is just confusing and impossible to use. That's sort of what Google Plus is. And if they integrate slash hostile takeover more things into YouTube, that's what YouTube will eventually become. Now, this could be a very pessimistic moment, but in in a sense, if this keeps happening, if this little crack that Google Plus has made into YouTube expands, then YouTube will die. And that's very problematic for people like me who don't make money and don't have a large audience. Because after this, big people, big people with many subscribers, with many people that depend on their content every day, will just be able to go make their own website, make their own content, and support themselves. They'll also be able to find jobs easier by themselves because they have a lot of job experience making good content. On my hand, I will just not be able to make content at all because I won't be able to share it with people that want to discover me. And unfortunately, 400 subscribers is a lot, but not nearly enough for me to have any sort of money being off of this. And as much as I would like to say that, hey, I'm doing this for fun, eventually at some point, someone a thousand videos later would want to have some sort of revenue come out of it, to have all this time spent into making videos, have some sort of, you know, monetary value, to have some sort of, you know, payback for the work they've put into it. And I can, of course, keep making videos and doing them for fun and spread the word about how Google Plus sucks. I, I, I could definitely do this, but it's going to eventually get to the point where I'm not having fun by putting in lots of work and getting in no responses whatsoever. The reason for I'm not going to turn off the comments off this video is because I value and respect every opinion that people put on my videos. And right now they're the most important thing to me because that's what allows me to expand my very small audience. And so what's next? I mean, is this everything that's gonna happen to YouTube? I mean, is some miracle going to happen? And is this hostile takeover going to be made optional? Because that would fix all the problems that we're having. Google Plus being made optional on YouTube would just make sure that no one selects it because only idiots would pick Google Plus over YouTube. And um, as soon as that happens, we'll have a website that works. If anything more happens in the direction of Google Plus, however, we'll have a website that doesn't work. And as unfortunate as it is, malicious content and links to genitalia and things like this is not something that I would like on my videos too. And so if some magical way my audience was to expand and I would have some spam bots and some people putting in penises and other things on my videos, then I would just say, you know, let's just turn off the comments. And so until we get to that point, I'll be sitting here happily and, you know, valuing people saying, hey, that was a good video. But if it gets to the point where I'm getting things that aren't in that sense, then I'll just say, you know, fuck off. <laughs> It's as simple as that. And even though you can disable comments, it's sort of kind of saying, hey, I'm going to disable my viewers having a voice. And that is not a good thing. And that's not a thing I want to do. And so, you know, I guess we just sit here and wait. And as big YouTubers make their, uh, you know, nuclear bunkers and uh, plan their routes of escape, I'll be sitting here trying to use YouTube to the point where the last drop of blood has spilt from the website. And then I'll say, you know what, I think I am finished making videos for people because there is no way for me to gain success from making people videos. And so, you know, until that point, we'll all keep loving YouTube, but at the same time hating YouTube because YouTube itself is a good website run by some people that make very bad decisions. 
I'd like to, for the end of this video, I'd like to take a little rewind thing back in time where a year ago we had a sub box that worked. We had channel art, we had channel backgrounds, and we had an organization system that was simple and yet very elegant and easy to use. Also on my phone, I could access my own channel, I could manage my videos, I could look at my inbox, I can manage my playlists and things like this, and look at my dashboard. Now on my phone, all I can do is click the button that says my subscriptions and get things that are suggested to me instead of things that I'm subscribed to. I used to have a button that would take me back to my subscriptions and show me the people that I'm subscribed to. Unfortunately, that doesn't exist anymore. And sooner or later, I think even the desktop version of YouTube won't have that anymore because more and more kind of ordering and filtering and stuff like this makes some videos impossible to find even though you're subscribed to the person that made the video. And that's the reason that a lot of people miss videos that are made to people. And that's the reason why people don't make as much revenue because their videos are being missed by the poor inbox. And so now a year later from a year ago, when I used to be able to sit in any Wi-Fi free restaurant thing and look at my videos, now I have to add it as a favorite, you know, instead of pressing that one little button that says my channel, I would have to go to my favorites, I'd have to scroll all the way down to YouTube, and then I'd have to select the one that says my channel. And then from there, I'll be able to view it as someone who's randomly found it by searching it. I won't be able to manage my inbox, won't be able to manage my videos, won't be able to do anything. And I'm okay with it, as long as Google Plus doesn't fuck with it. But unfortunately, that's not the case currently, and unfortunately, that is the end of my pessimistic rant. Because as many people, you know, everyone is saying this right now, but I see that an endless ocean of um, complaints has a slightly higher chance of getting Google Plus to leave than an ocean that doesn't exist. And then you think, well, if I make a contribution to this endless ocean, it will just be a lost thing. But what is an ocean than an endless multitude of drops that are my complaint? And so I feel the more people complain, the better. Because, you know, at least the word gets out that people don't like what's happening to the website. And that's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be doing with this video and with many videos to come. I'm going to be saying... Fuck you, Google Plus. <laughs> and I think that is the end of my story. Because as long as I contribute and as long as other people contribute, we'll have at least some sort of way of saying we don't like Google Plus and we don't like this integration, otherwise known as a hostile takeover happening to our website. And so I'd like you to do the same if you have a channel and if you can make videos. Please go ahead and make videos saying how much you hate Google Plus, because I know you do. I know there's very little people that enjoy it. And so if you're one of those people, you cannot make a video, but if you're not, then go ahead and hate Google Plus as much as I do, because it's bad. And we should all know, that's why I made this video. So thank you guys for watching, see you guys later, and goodbye.